problems working with your fellow council members in the future? As long as they vote the way I want them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Uh, listen, we have a great council. We have very hard, dedicated people who serve you currently. They do a great job. We don't always agree. We're not there to agree. We're there to come to a consensus that will benefit you, the citizens. I think we as a council work very hard on that. We communicate with each other. We work with each other. We go to a retreat and talk for hours upon hours about things in our history that are important to us, but more important to you. And so, no, we have no problems with each other. We work very well together. Mr. Miller. I think it's, uh, it's important for council members to bring new ideas to the table. I also think it's important for you to have an open mind and listen to the other council members' ideas, uh, as well as the personnel that are bringing forward the, the uh, different projects and uh, ordinances on the issues, whatever, before you. Uh, it's all about communication, being able to listen, and uh, then vote your heart. Mr. Wheeler. Yes, we will have disagreements, many of them, many topics, constantly. But we will get through them. Disagreements are natural. That's what happened. Uh, hopefully, they will come over to my side once they realize that these mysterious funds are not going to appear just because we passed a new tax. Uh, you ever wonder why all these people come to our town to them to stay? Why is that? Why don't they just move in and live here with us? There's a reason. We've got better tax advantages elsewhere. How many of you times have you seen uh, uh, athletes move to a no-tax state? It's going to be very dangerous if we have to raise taxes. Uh, that would be the number one thing we would disagree on. Everything, everything else would probably be just uh, great. All right, we'll uh, start our final question.